Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 649 of Logo History. For this episode, we're going to have a look at Head and Shoulders. It is an anti-dandruff shampoo product that was introduced in 1961. It is owned by Procter & Gamble, and their website is www.headandshoulders.com. A fence for gray hair. Defense against flakes. They're, they look. They look like they're in a battle against each other. Do you want to fight me? Go show it again. Okay, find the right head and shoulders product for you with our hair and scalp advisor. Oh wow, that's very interesting. Interesting. I mean, interesting. <laughs> uh, give your scalp and hair the royal treatment. Respect the crown. Oh, wow, those ladies look beautiful. I'm not even acting city a bit at this point. I'm, I'm just amazed. <laughs> head and shoulders is a it's right. Head and shoulders is the world's number one shampoo. But we're more, but we're about more than just fighting dandruff. We believe that everyone deserves great looking, flakes free hair and healthy scalp. So if you're suffering from dandruff, simply check out our articles for any advice you need. Then get ready to live flake free and confident. Oh wow, that's. That's interesting. Let me just scroll through this website. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1961 to 1983, we have the words head and shoulders in black text. Around those words, we have a light blue curvy shape that is surrounded by pink, cyan, and dark blue curvy shapes. 1983 to 1989, we have the words head and shoulders in black text. However, the letters H and S are the only letters that are bigger than the rest of the letters and they are also in white text with black outline and drop shadow. Below the, below the word shoulders, we have the word shampoo in light blue text. Below all the words, we have pink, blue, and cyan wave-like shapes that are connected to each other. 1989 to 1995, we have the words head and shoulders in blue text. 1995 to 2001, we have the words head and shoulders in black text. Also, unlike the previous logo, all the words are tilted instead of being straight. 2001 to 2007, we have the words head and shoulders in blue text. The ampersand is in cyan text. Below those words, we have a light blue circle. Inside that circle, we have the letters H and S in light blue text. In the top right corner of that circle, we have three wavy shapes one pink and two light blue. 2007 to 2014, we have a blue and light blue oval. Inside that oval, we have a white and light blue oval. The oval also has that silver 3D effect. Next to that, we have the words head and shoulders in blue and light blue text. The words head and shoulders are in blue text and on top of each other while the ampersand is in light blue. 2014 to 2019, the icon changed and the words head and shoulders are entirely in blue. 2019 to the present, same as last time, but the icon has no silver 3D effect and the oval inside is entirely white. The words head and shoulders stayed the same with no font change. Alright, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 650, Bath and Body Works. Bye for now.